Hi everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. I've got another beer review for you, and it is of, well, it's a cold IPA, <clears throat> brewed by Black Hops Brewery. They are down in Queensland in Australia. I've had this beer a little while, to be honest. Trav Travis Wilson, you absolute legend, thank you, mate. Travis sent it over in his first um, box, and... I don't know, it's just sort of sat in my fridge. There's been, yeah, just got no excuse for not really reviewing it. It's just sat in my fridge. Um, cold IPAs then. Um, they're basically, uh, in, in, in really simple terms, I'm not much of a brewer at all. I say I'm not much of a brewer. never done it in my life. Cold IPAs are basically hoppy lagers, put simply. There's obviously a bit more to it than that, but put simply, they're hoppy lagers. Um... I believe, I think the cold bit comes from, is it the fermentation process? It's cold, it's a colder fermentation process, I think, than an IPA, a general IPA. So what you end up with is a bit of a a bit of a lagered, fizzy, um, normally a lot clearer um, IPA. It's kind of a funny one, cold IPAs. It's kind of gone nuts this year. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not much of a brewer. I don't really drink a lot of this style, so I'm a bit lost, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, the cam wrap, um, it's, well, the beer's called Cold Coast, and the cam wrap kind of shows a tropical island in the middle of the sea. There we go. Never had a Black Hops beer. Quite excited for this. Let's grab a glass. What are we going to do? Let's grab this one. Uh, no, I'll tell you what. Let's grab this one. I'm going to do another review in a minute, so I'm just trying to think about what beer's going to be better in what glass. Let's get this open, then, if I can, because I bite my nails. Is that going to stay up there? Thank you. Boom. There we go. Lovely smoky can opening. This is quite a cold beer. I haven't had this out for long at all, if I'm honest. Um, this beer's out, been out the fridge for about three or four minutes. Because, um, like I say, these, beer, these beers generally um, do a little bit better for um, being served nice and cold. There we go. Boom. What have we got? A lovely, car I mean, super carbonated beer. Hazy straw colour beer, almost like quite a vibrant straw, really light straw coloured beer. Half a finger white head. Looks alright to be fair. Let's bang on the money. Look, that, that haze to it's absolutely beautiful. Let's get an aroma then. Oh, lovely sweet tangerine. Pineapple, passion fruit. Apricot. This smells amazing. Definitely picking up those light, nice wafer malts. Lovely sweet lemon as well. This beer just smells amazing. Yeah, that smells really good. Um, like I say, don't drink a lot of cold IPAs if I'm honest, but this smells, that. in terms of the ones that I have drunk, this smells the best. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's really refreshing. Really easy drinking. What was the ABV? Five something? Five eight and a three seven five can. Super refreshing. Lovely multi biscuit well not biscuity, that's the wrong word. It's kind of a cross between biscuit and wafer malts. And also a nice grass, sort of the grassy earthiness up front, which keeps it being really fresh. And those tropical flavours, especially that tangerine, a lovely sweet tangerine, bit of peach, huge hit of citrus, slight hint of that pineapple passion fruit, those typical tropical flavours. There's a lovely bitter finish, got great mouthfeel as well. It's got you know it's got a bit of bite to it. It's not overly thick, but equally it's not wishy washy. That is, I wish, it's October. I'm filming this in October. Trav, I wish I had this in the summer. The summer we've just had, that hot summer we've just had, this would have been perfect after a day at work. Really, really good. 
that bitterness just lasts forever as well. It's almost like a drying bitterness, almost viney. Yeah, that's good. Let's have a look at the can then. <clears throat> um, where are they from? Bigera Waters in Queensland, wherever that might be. Queensland, that sort of northeastern side of Australia, Brisbane, think sort of around Brisbane. Bringing together a vibrant collection of clean hop flavours with a crisp, cold fermented body. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the fermentation process is cold. Yeah. Um, cold Coast is a little bit of the unexpected whilst being comfort comfortably familiar at the same time. <laughs> it's, it's really wordy that, but I do kind of get what they mean. Um, it's a little bit of the unexpected, that tangerine and peach. Those flavours are lovely. But it's com comfortably familiar at the same time. <clears throat> and it really is because it's just nice, refreshing, light, proper summer beer this. I know I'm drinking it in October, but proper summer beer. It's really well put together. I hate those beers where all the flavours are at once, <clears throat> nothing develops. Um, and you're kind of a bit bored. Um, this is anything but. The flavours do develop. There's, you kind of get the sweet malts, the sweeter malts at the start. There's wafer biscuity malts with a bit of grassiness, a bit of earth and earthiness. Then you get those lovely tropical flavours. Then it leaves you with a really drying bitterness, almost a viney bitterness. And yeah, that's really quite nice. Um, whereas some of these cold IPAs that I've had, I think the reason I don't really buy them is I'm not really that been impressed with, been that impressed with them. You know, I either want a hoppy pale ale or I want a lager, and they can't. A lot of them just don't do either. Whereas this actually does do both. It's 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 light, it's clean, it's refreshing, uh, like all lagers should be. But then there is that there is that kind of hoppy tropical ta tangerine and peach in the middle that really keeps things interesting. I quite like it. And that bitterness is lovely. Absolutely lovely. How would I rate it then? Well, I don't drink a lot of cold IPAs. It's not really a style that I enjoy drinking. Having said that, this has been quite. This has been a pretty enjoyable drinking experience. Um, I am going to give that a three and a half out of five. I really quite like that. Probably would have been better in the summer. But yeah, thanks again for Travis, to Travis. I know you watch my videos, mate. Um, thank you very much uh, for sending it in. Um, and yeah, sorry, it's taken me half a century to get around to it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you would be so kind. And cold IPAs, are they your thing? Like I say, not really for me, but that beer, yeah, it's kind of changed my mind a little bit. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.